Drop a like on the video if you're looking forward to controlling the robot in the live event. The live event is nearly here. We're only a few days away now. Everyone is going crazy over what's going to be happening during this live event. So here are the most craziest theories and myths, starting with the Cube Queen. Ever since Chapter 3 started, everybody's been going crazy about the Cube Queen returning. And after the recent Fortnite update, it's a huge possibility. The Collider, a huge man-made structure to destroy Reality Zero created by the Imagine order, it has quite a few hidden secrets. According to leaks, at some point running up to this live event, the beam of energy will turn purple. And what in Fortnite is associated with the colour purple? The Cube Queen energy. I mean, even look on the minimap right now, the Collider's beam is purple. But the theory doesn't stop there. The bright light seen on the outer edges of the map that everyone speculated was the Cube Queen can now be seen in the background of the new Fortnite lobby. We also discovered at the beginning of the season that Origin used to be the Cube King. All the more reason for the Cube Queen to return. I'm sure she's going to return someday, but for this live event, I think it's highly unlikely. But what if I also told you that a lot of people I've seen on the internet think Paradigm is going to be ruining this live event again. After the disaster of the live event in Season 8, Paradigm has gone into hiding from the Seven as she struggled to defeat the monster and resorted to using the Zero Point to help. She then left the Zero Point exposed on the map and shot up into space. She She's been staying in the Seven's base on the moon, not wanting to go home, probably because she feels quite embarrassed. But during this live event, we've been told that she's going to be making a reappearance. As you hopefully know by now, we're going to be controlling the robot during this live event with the guidance and co-pilot help of Paradigm. But leaks show that towards the end of this event, the Zero Point is going to get exposed again and severely damaged, with shards of the Zero Point spreading across into different universes. Could this be down to Paradigm again? A lot of people seem to think so. The Zero Point is currently underneath, sandwiched between both islands in Reality Zero. Paradigm isn't going to mess up again, is she? The return of the monster. After all the leaks about it, the groaning noises, the skull appearing on the map, we're still yet to know anything else about it. This is why everybody thinks it's going to be a special surprise during the live event. Think about it. If it's just the robot versus the collider tower, which obviously doesn't move, we should be able to take it down quite easy, right? Just walk up to it in the robot, punch it to break it and then the Imagine Order's plan is out the window. Obviously, we're going to be battling against tanks and other Imagine Order equipment, but with people thinking it could be that easy, the monster working for the Imagine Order needs to return. The IO were the ones that dug up and discovered the skull. Have they been working on it to bring it back secretly? What are the vaults for inside Command Cavern? Are they hiding something in there? Along with everybody else, I really want to see the return of the monster. What about the most realistic theory we have yet? The retrieval of the Mecha Robot's arm. So we've seen the robot, it's currently without some legs and an arm, and we know that the arm got ripped off by the monster all the way back in Season 8, and luckily for us, it's out at sea on the Chapter 3 island, and we can only assume we're going to retrieve it. With the mech coming down from the moon to the Fortnite island, we can only assume it's going to be armless, we're going to go help the robot control it to go out to sea, grab the arm out of the water, and attach it back to the body of the mech to then take it into battle. I think everyone can agree with me on this one, that this fan theory is more than likely going to happen. The invasion of mecha robots. Not one, not two, but many mechs arrive into the Fortnite Island. You're probably thinking, what? No way. Well, after one piece of information got leaked the other day to do with the live event, many people actually think this is happening. A piece of code to do with the live event suggested there were many variations of colours of the mecha team robot, which at first you would assume would mean lots of mechs arriving on the map. Not much else is known, but people are running with this theory, and I mean, I don't want to get your hopes up, but it probably isn't going to happen. Who knows? I could be wrong. I'm going to put this one down as a myth for now, but take a look at this. I've even mocked up an image of what this could look like in the live event. It's all well and good coming up with theories, but this next one is a little bit crazy. The Imagined Order winning this war. With the big collider on the map and the power of the Imagined Order, the Seven's relationship in tatters right now, you would assume that the Imagined Order are just going to win this war. But I don't think that's the case. The Imagined Order, over the season, they've made themselves look pretty vulnerable. Not really putting up much of a fight, but it's given them time 
to work on their actual plan underground. The Collider without us knowing. I mean, the Origin even has recent voice lines saying that he can't let another reality get wiped from existence. We've seen the simulation, that's what's going to happen if we don't stop it. And the thing is, if the Imagine Order win, that means the Zero Point will be destroyed, as seen by the simulation, which also means the loop will stop, which then means no more Fortnite. On the other hand, if the Seven and us, the Resistance, win, the Seven's objective is to stop the Imagine Order using the Zero Point to create the loop. So again, no more Fortnite. More than likely, this war is going to end up with neither team really winning. Maybe with the Imagine Order fleeing the island, but the Zero Point will be left heavily damaged, just like it was in Season 5. Don't worry, people haven't forgotten about Clombo. A huge theory going around right now is that they'll be joining us in this war. Currently, they're all hibernating all around the map again, but people with a keen eye have noticed that they're on the move. Mounds that were in an original specific location have seemed to move, and they look like they're all moving towards the center of the map, towards the collider. We had Tony Stark enter the loop again at the beginning of the season, and he's helped us create these awesome battle buses. But some people also think he's helped equip the Clombos with weaponry. Now, I don't know about this one, but I also wouldn't be surprised if Clombos got involved in this war as well. After all, it's called a reality war, meaning pretty much everyone is getting involved. I know for a fact that when Season 2 came around and Clombos weren't on the map, everybody was disappointed. After one of the updates during this season, Clombos were then reintroduced to the map, but this time hibernating. Due to the war that's going on, they could be on their way back here soon. The Robots Repair. If you jump into Fortnite right now, you'll obviously all notice the mech team leader is being worked on outside. We're currently on the moon in the Seven's workshop where Paradigm and the mech team leader, they've been here all this time. The arm of the robot? Yeah, we saw that got ripped off in the Season 8 live event back in the day. But where have the legs gone? This is where people have been coming up with some crazy theories. Listen to this. So we jump into Chapter 3. The Foundation statue overlooks the whole of the Chapter 3 map at the Sanctuary. Everyone thought, oh, it must be a sword again. That was until the IO stormed the map this season and decided to blow it up, leaving only the legs left. Now everybody thinks that the mecha robot on the legs of the Foundation statue will come together to create a new stone mech type robot thing. I'm not even joking. As far-fetched as this theory sounds, it might just happen. We might also see the Collider using the power of the Zero Point. The location of the tower being situated on the bank of Loot Lake coincides with the position of the Zero Point under the map. If anything, if we go off the location of the Zero Point in Chapter 1, yeah, that was under Loot Lake. If you look closely at the pulses given off by the Collider at the moment, it looks like it's using energy of the Zero Point to destroy the loot. We know that this is what the Imagine Order are wanting to do. If you go inside Command Cavern at the moment, there's literally a simulation of the event. The bottom of the Collider looks like it could be a drill. Maybe it's drilled into the Zero Point and is sending energy into the sky. I mean, we do know that the Zero Point is getting damaged again during this live event due to leaks. This might be the reason why. And after close inspection as well, on each pulse you can see waves of the Zero Point's blue colour given off. And that's every fan theory and myth to do with Chapter 3 Season 2 live event. If you went on and enjoyed, remember to drop a like. Buying anything from the Fortnite item shop, make sure to pop in code MMCS. And I picked out a video just for you right here. I reckon you'll like it. I'll see you over there.